Hi, welcome to another Brush and Balcom video. Today we're going to be painting Typhus the Herald of Nurgle. Uh, we're going to be breaking this into two parts. The first part is going to be the main figure, and the second part is going to be the flies and the clouds that are coming out of the exhaust. Okay, so the first colour that we're going to be using is the Vallejo Russian Uniform 2, or World War 2, sorry. Um, and we're going to be using that just to do all the greens on his armour. We are going to be doing all the base colours first, and then we'll be washing them all in one go. So there will be a lot of base colours going on before we do anything else. We're going to finish off the greens and when we come back we'll move on to the next base colour. So the next colour is going to be Vallejo Modeler Rust. I'm going to be doing that to start all the brass colours off. So when we come back, all of the rust colour will be done. So the next colour we're going to be doing is just for the, the straps on the side here, and that is going to be using Vallejo Beige Brown, which is one of the Flames of War colours. There we go. Next one we're going to be painting is the little nurgling on the side there. We're going to be painting him with Citadel nurgling green as the base coat. And there we go, the nagling's all done. The next colour that we're going to be using is Vallejo Modeler Steel, and it's just ever so slightly darker than the chrome that I usually use, just fancied a bit of a change. We'll skip to the end of this and when we come back all the steel will be done on it. So that's all the metallics done. Next we're going to be working on all these little fresh tubes and stuff like that that dotted about them. Um, so for this we're going to be using Vallejo Basic Skin Tone and we're just going to be doing all the tubes with this around all the areas where they're open as well. Right, if we come back to that, we'll have all the little flesh colours done. With the skin sections done, we're just going to be using Citadel Vicar Flesh, and that's going to be used for all the bony protrusions and like the, the exhaust things on his back. We'll carry on with this and once we come back all those bits should be done. The next colour we're going to be doing is just for the base more than anything. I'm just going to be doing this barrel a red colour. I'm actually going to be doing the middle section of it with Ricard Fleck. When we come back to this, the barrel's going to have all its base coats done. 
Right, the final colour we're going to add before we do the shades and start working on individual bits is going to be Vallejo model colour dark sea green, which is the one that I use for every dark grey on everything. Um, so we're just going to be using that to do the concrete slabs at the bottom here. Come back to this, all the grey will be finished. Okay, so now that we've got all the base colours down, we're going to be using a lot of shades just to get the model looking well. We're going to be using the Grax Earth shade on the straps across his side and on the brass parts, Seraphim Sepia on all the bone, the bony protrusions, that kind of thing, and across all his armour. We're going to be using Reitland Flesh Shade on all these little weird flesh tubes. Seraphim Sepia is going to be used on his shoulder pads, a Grax Earth shade on his loincloth, Null Noil on all the pieces of metal. Um, we'll also be using Druchy Violet on the red, Null Noil on the grey, and I'll be using Seraphim Sepia on this as well. Now when we come back, all the shades will be done. I'll give a quick overview of what we've just done. If you follow our Instagram channel, you may recognise Typhus in his current condition from where I posted him the other day. We've got all the base colours done, we've got all the washes done. The next colour that we're going to work on is the off-white colour that we do the armour panels, and that's a mix of white and Citadel Ushabti bone. Okay, we're going to pause that there, and when we come back, we're going to have all the armour painted. Next colour that we're going to be doing is back to Ricard Flesh, and for that we're going to be putting the base colours back onto the bone, leaving a lot of the sepia in the recesses to keep them dark and shaded. Okay, when we come back to it, we'll have all the bone colours done. All we're going to be doing now is adding Citadel Ushabti bone, or Ushabti bone. We're going to be adding that to the tops of the, the spines and that kind of thing, just to lighten them up a bit. I'm going to carry on with the bone, and when we come back, all that will be done, we'll just work on the final highlight for those parts. The next thing that we're going to be doing is adding a mix of white and new shabty bone, just to do some extreme highlights to these areas. And there we go. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Russian uniform World War II. We're just going to be highlighting the loincloth here and a little bit on the tatters of cloth that are hanging down from his armour and his shoulder pads. When we come back to that, we'll have the rest of the green done. I've added a little bit of white to some of the Russian uniform colour. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of that to do some edge highlights on the, the cloth. So, next we're just going to be adding some Citadel Seraphim Sepia. We're going to be adding this to the chain mail and some of the areas on his side so that we can get to that looking rusty. There we 
have that done. Next we're going to do a little bit of work on the nurgling, but I'm just going to be using pure nurgling green citadel colour. I'm just going to give that an extra layer to get over the, um, the Rikon flesh shade. We come back, we'll have the nurgling finished off. Now I'm just going to do a few little light highlights on the nurgling, and for that I've used a little bit of white mixed with nurgling green. little highlights on him. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of red for the Nurgling's eyes inside his mouth. There you go. I'm just going to add a little tiny spot of juicy violet to his mouth just to darken that up a bit. Like so. Next we can add a little bit of Mephisto on red mixed with white to the innards that are hanging out of the Nurgling. I'm also going to use the same colour for his tongue. There we go. One thing I will do quickly off camera is I'm just going to paint the horn on his head in the same way that painted all the other horns, so we'll get that out of the way quick. The next part that we're going to be doing is just these rubber tubes here, we're going to be doing them with Citadel Abaddon Black, and then we're going to be doing a highlight with, um, it'll be Vallejo Dark Sea Green, just to give them a bit of a highlight. Okay, when we come back to this, the tubes will be painted and I will have put the highlight on. All I'm going to be doing for that is doing a very light dry brush uh, with the Vallejo Dark Sea Green. We're going to be using Seraphim Sepia Shade and we're going to start doing the corrosion on his armour. Now there is a video about doing the Death Guard corrosion that's already been posted up and there's a blog as well so I'll link them below. Right, I'm going to carry on with the rest of the corrosion. When we come back, we should have that done, and there shouldn't be a cat strolling across the table. With all the sepia done, we're now going to move on to doing a Grax Earth shade. Going to be using that to do thinner trails of corrosion running down the front of his armour. When we come back to this, all the air shade will be done. Next layer that we're going to be doing is Citadel Null Oil, and that is just to add the final layer of corrosion onto his armour. We're going to do two things next. Uh, the first is just do the little bit of string down here, or a little bit of cord. I'm going to do that for light of beige brown. The next thing we're going to do is going to use um, Citadel Nihilac Oxide uh, technical paint, and we're just going to do all the corrosion on the brass, like the oxidation of the brass. Okay, 
going to carry on with this and then when we come back all the oxidation will be done. So we're going to be using Vallejo Dark Sea Green on the concrete, then a highlight of London Grey and then we're going to be using Mephiston Red on the barrel and then we're going to weather this part here and do like a brass or gold coloured eagle on the front. So we're going to get this pipe painted in lead belcher. When we come back that'll be ready to be weathered. Next we're going to be using some Carabird Crimson and that's just to make the edges of the wounds and things like that a little bit more raw looking. There you go. Right, now I'm going to use a little bit of typhus corrosion and that's just to get the, the base level for the rust done. Just a few little things to finish them off. Uh, first we're going to be using Citadel Ushabti Bone and we're going to just be doing the teeth on the Nurgling which is on there. And next we're going to do his eye lenses with Vallejo Light Green. So finally we're going to just be using a little bit of riser rust, the Citadel dry colour, and that's just going to be to add a little bit of orangey highlight to the areas where we've put typhus corrosion. When we come back to him, all the rust will be finished. So the colours I'm going to be using for this, I'm going to be doing the same kind of style of um, smoke that I've used on the other Death Guard. I'm going to be using Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade and Citadel Drucci Violet, and that's going to be the two colours for the smoke coming out of it. So hopefully I'll be able to get them to merge and look, look half decent. So what we're going to do now is use a mix of Vallejo White and Vallejo London Grey. When we come back to this, we'll have all these greys done, and then it should just be a case of maybe highlighting them with a bit of white and then painting up the flies. Okay, so we've now got this up to the point where the smoke's all grey with the purples and blues showing through. What we're going to do now is just going to highlight that with some watered down white. We're going to carry on with that, and then when we come back, we'll start work on the flies. 
Next thing we're going to do is use Citadel Lead Belcher to paint the fly's eyes. So we're using the Spirit Stone Red here. You can see that gives them the red colour and also gives them a bit of a shine as well. When we come back, we'll start working on the wings and the body as well. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint up the bodies of the flies. For this we're going to be using Nurgling Green from Citadel and also Baden Black just to give the two different colours for the flies. When we come back to this, all the flies should have the bodies painted. Next thing that we're going to do is just use a little bit of Rikelon Flesh Shade, and that's to add some shading to the flies. Okay, so when we come back, all of these should be painted. Okay, now we're going to be using some Waystone Green and a little bit of Soulstone Blue, and that's going to give the fly's wings a little bit more of a shimmery effect. When we come back to that, we'll have all the wings done. Right, so with the wings all painted with the Waystone Green and the Soulstone Blue, uh, that's the final part for the smoke on the back. So I'm calling it a day on Typhus, the Herald of Nurgle. The only thing I've really got to do, left to do is do the base, and I'll be sorting it out in the next few days, so I'll post pictures of that on Instagram when it's finished. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have, please think about subscribing to the channel and give us a thumbs up below, it does help us out a lot. Also think about subscribing to some of our other forms of social media linked below. Thanks very much.